Okay, so hello everyone. I just wanted to check if I know how this works. So uh, as it was introduced already, I'm from Hungary, from uh, the organization Humus Waste Prevention Alliance, uh, and I would like to tell you our story in Hungary. But first, here are some uh, details or like a, a, a situation of uh, waste management in Hungary. Uh, I know that everyone heard about the circular economy and waste package by now, I hope. But uh, as you know, uh, there were a lot of countries opposing. And unfortunately, Hungary was one of them together with the V4 plus countries. Which is uh, kind of a pity because if we look at the graphic on here or at the chart, we see that uh, landfilling is actually uh, decreasing over the years, so we can see a nice progress. So I don't know why we want to stop here and uh, why isn't it feasible to, to actually move forward. Um, ironically, uh, the green shows the landfill, the amount of, uh, that was landfill, and you can see that uh, as a good news that the recycling that was increasing, and that's why landfill is uh, decreasing. Also, we can see a decline in the overall uh, waste generation, uh, which is uh, due to most of, uh, of the economic crisis of 2008. Uh, but I'm sure there are a lot of, and we know of a lot of people who actually are becoming more conscious consumers, so I don't want to exclude them from, from this uh, trend. So what we see here, as now as also like, a, so far as a good news, that energy recovery was stagnating. However, we have news that uh, this might change so, because uh, so far we had only one uh, energy recovery um, plant in Budapest, but now they are planning to build a new one in the southern part where they want to burn uh, sewage sludge together with uh, municipal solid waste. And we find this uh, trend really alarming because uh, in the last couple of years, recycling got actually really, really good in Hungary. So first it was like the uh, collection sites, like uh, these eco islands in uh, Slovenia, which uh, of course is a good start to get to people used to this system. But of course it's not perfect. But the curbside collection was introduced last year in most of the places and uh, actually got really good feedback from people. Uh, using this system. So I think there's still huge opportunity for, for recycling and uh, that's why we shouldn't let the incineration get to, get to Hungary. Also in the case of refused derived fuel and also power plants turning to waste is a, is a big problem but we will try to campaign against this. So how is zero waste in, in Hungary now? Uh, as you can see in a most of uh, our national waste management programs and plans and prevention program, we have the concept zero waste in it. And this is basically due to the work of Humus, because we, we uh, play a good role in lobbying and we try to convince them. However, this is only uh, still on a theoretical basis. So these are big words put into these plans, but uh, we don't see actual concrete actions or, or plans for this. Uh, we can see the, the same trend in conferences, workshops. A lot of people sit together and talk about these big concepts, but uh, it's still just theories and still just talking, which we would really like to change. Like uh, this meeting is really about showing good examples and how we can actually do something and it would be nice to see something on a national level back at home. So uh, this year we have uh, new uh, opportunities from EU funds uh, through different operational programs to actually invest in new uh, solutions and there is a chance that uh, there will be this year uh, funds for waste prevention and we know also that there's going to be opportunity for small and medium enterprises for recycling and also for municipalities and we know of uh, reuse centers that could also um, start this way but we also know that uh, incineration and RDF are also in these operational programs. I would also like to mention the, the waste management municipal municipalities have right now in Hungary. Uh, one of the problem is uh, that the whole system, waste management system, is getting really centralized. 
uh, in Hungary. And you can also see it from we had a EPR scheme that was uh, now uh, terminated and now it's a state owned uh, coordination that uh, goes on, which was uh, which had a lot of advantages, but uh, it has a disadvantage also because the transparency still haven't uh, improved. Also, uh, municipalities are in associations uh, regionally, which really ties their hands. So that's why we so far cannot really see like, these good uh, pilot projects or these good uh, zero waste programs in, uh, in Hungary because of the municipalities' uh, limitations. But can you hear me now? Okay, sorry, I saw that. <laughs> My uh, voice disappeared. So, but we are not giving up on the situation. Not, first of all, not all of the municipalities are in these associations, and uh, also we try to work closely with municipalities. And this year, we want to uh, write the Hungarian version of the zero waste charta uh, and try to show them good practices. And we are also together with Zero Waste Europe in a, in a project, town to town, people to people. So there will be also a conference. Uh, to which we can uh, invite these municipalities. So, uh, so far I have shown the, the situation, it was just a really basic. And uh, as you have seen, uh, Humus, has, uh, uh, Humus is really actively participating in expertise work as well as lobbying. But uh, we have uh, another huge uh, field we're working and that's with the public. We, we really like going into the field and talk to people and try to convince them and, and together with them, not just uh, saying how to do that. So one is of our biggest uh, campaigns is uh, how you can do zero waste yourself at home. Uh, we, we have these 10 points which actually reduce uh, waste to, to 30%. And these are really easily feasible, really understandable. This what we can show. These are not uh, really capitalist uh, well, capital in in a, uh, way, so it you can easily uh, integrate in your everyday life. For example, composting or just making a list when you go shopping. Uh, this we try to also show that uh, waste is uh, really connected to consumption in a way. And yes, nulla huladek is zero waste in, in Hungarian. Uh, so this is one way. These are always in our in our prog programs. These these points, and uh, it's also nice that uh, Humus is a is a, an association. We work together with a lot of organizations throughout uh, Hungary uh, on a, on a daily basis, which makes it really nice to actually talk to people in in places we are not uh, there because we are situated in in Budapest but uh, through uh, other organizations we can uh, really uh, widen our reach. So since 2009 also, uh, every year we have these zero waste tours uh, around Hungary. It looks like uh, in this uh, spring and, Octo uh, and uh, until October period, there are a lot of festivals in, in Hungary, musical and gastronomic, and a lot of people go there and participate, so we try to go to the people in this way and uh, try to involve them. As you can see, we have uh, different uh, stands. We usually have a kind of a workshop because people really like uh, those to, to do something by themselves. But we also have uh, different games which help uh, understand the, the problems and show good examples. And uh, um, sometimes we, we put together with another w or with a, with a kind of uh, point, like here you can see that um, I think in 2013 one of the main themes was repair. So we went there and showed how you can repair your bike, how you can repair uh, um, things by yourself. Just to show a few of our games, uh, the first one reset is uh, like a kind of a charades, or we call it in Hungarian activity game. Uh, these are waste-related words you have to describe or, or, uh, or play. And the other one is uh, the reverse shop. Uh, we saw that the best way to actually get to people is through their purse. As you know, with, it's the same with municipalities, but it's the same with, uh, with uh, people as well. So here we, we imitate uh, normal shopping, and at the end, when they receive the, the bill, we actually show how much they spent on packaging. We made a database to know, like, of course, how, how much money do you pay for actually 
uh, generating waste and then you have to pay for the, the waste get delivered and uh, this is one really good way to to get them thinking about uh, about waste also one of our uh, one of our really successful uh, exhibition is a form of uh, useless goods it was uh, made for for the model of uh, of a title at home which is the forum of excellent goods and uh, here we wanted to show that uh, in our consumer society what useless stuff they are actually making us buy and show us this is really useful you know it's really practical one of my favorites is the inflatable banana holder you can see it here it it only holds one banana but but it's but in a really nice way and also like all, all these gadgets you can see you know the pens that are with fans and feathers and and they don't even work as pens but they're really nice and uh, it's really funny to to uh, to talk to people and we mingle with people who actually go and see these exhibitions because we usually have two reactions the first is oh yeah now you say it it's totally useless and the other ones why do you say it's useless this is so practical for me you know i use it every day and uh, and in a way we can say that yes but what is useless and what is useful it's really uh, personal but we want to try to also show that that's at first sight something as that that uh, seems like useful it's actually really just a waste of resources in a way so uh, it's a really colorful and a really funny exhibition and it's really good to, to show how, how crazy our world is today. Also we, we have a, a new um, site, website, uh, for in-kind donations. This is another way to show uh, that uh, reuse is possible together with uh, considering social aspects. So here we, we contacted uh, NGOs, mostly working on social issues, and uh, we tried to connect them with people who actually have, uh, have uh, stuff they want to get rid of. And uh, uh, it's really nice because also the organizations can say that if they need something and they can, uh, maybe someone has, oh yeah, I actually have, have the chair in my, in my uh, garden for I don't know how many years and you can have it but uh, also it can go the other way around and we also contacted the biggest uh, telecar uh, community uh, in Hungary so if someone cannot really take the, the donation to the organization they can do it through uh, telecar so uh, I just want to really show a few of the many things we've been doing uh, for like 20 years now in Humus. And one of them is uh, how, to, how we can inform the public about their choices. And also they can uh, find us if they have any questions. We have a, a lot of database, for example, also for repair shops. We also have a, a mobile application for that. Uh, but we also have uh, for uh, products with refillable packages <laughs> uh, as uh, just to connect to, to the uh, previous presentation we we have uh, this kind of deposit system but it's for refill and uh, not recycling uh, unfortunately it's declining but still there is a huge tradition uh, especially for beers and wines um, so it's it's feasible uh, and that's, I think, the only place where centralization can actually work. Also, we have uh, different uh, presentations. We have the green adventures. It's always around one bigger topic. This year we have it around uh, uh, how you can make your home more green, which uh, materials to use when we, you want to build a house, but also what to consider from a waste and from the energy perspective as well. So we have a lot of services for our community as well. Uh, we have a really nice house in the middle of Budapest. It's like a green island. And we have a big garden where, for example, we have a composting point and uh, where neighbors can bring their own compost. And we have around 40, 50 households now who, who decrease their waste this way. We also have this kind of free sh or uh, give and take shelf Everyone can drop something off or, or take away. And it works the same with for books. It's like an online uh, system where you can uh, 
find people who have the book you actually want to read and you can contact them and uh, the house works as a, as, a, as a point where you can actually get the book or give it to the other. And uh, also we are in uh, contact with a lot of other, uh, for example, social enterprises. One of them is actually redesigning uh, jeans and they make a, a new clothes out of them, so we also collect jeans. And uh, of course we have a, a shopping circle uh, where people can actually order food from local, uh, local farmers. We always organize or regularly organize swaps, clothes, books, whatever. You, you just give your idea and we will make it happen. And uh, we also donate, even from the stuff that is left over from these swaps, but uh, even around bigger uh, holidays, because that's when people are actually more, more uh, uh, conscious about these uh, donation programs. And uh, the last thing I would like to show is like, uh, I think uh, Enzo was who, who said that we should redesign. And this is what actually what we found is the easiest way to connect with the public because they're really creative and they really like when, when you uh, try to make them creative. And they also really like crafts work. So uh, in 2013, we, we had together with the Bag Free Day uh, redesign your bag competition where from, from from uh, all materials or whatever solution they could find, uh, they designed their own bag, like a shopping bag, and we had an exhibition out of it. Uh, like 140 bags came in, so it was it was really successful. And uh, last year we we started our our rethink it redesign competition, which was about repurposing uh, all the materials, and we also have now a touring exhibition on that. So this is a really good way to uh, actually exchange information because we wouldn't be able to come up with all these great ideas. But uh, people are creative and uh, they like to be uh, reminded of that. And uh, also it's a really easy way to actually connect with people, to start a conversation and actually make them think uh, over uh, other things as well. So uh, I wanted to show these examples and uh, here where you can find us and uh, yes, thank you for your attention. <laughs>